Hi, my name is Leanne Manzer. I'm a staff member at the York University Astronomical Observatory. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use the 40 centimeter telescope for nighttime observing. As shown in the introductory video, I have opened the telescope and I've removed the cover from the telescope at, um, properly. Um, so the first thing I wanted to be sure is that the CCD camera is connected to the back of the telescope. So you see it's on the back over here. And now you want to actually turn on the CCD and the telescope. So to turn on the CCD, you'll have a big black box over here. You flip the switch, and a green light will appear. You turn on the telescope, again, you flip the switch, uh, a beep will heard, and an orange light will appear. So you want to be sure that the CCD is actually connected properly. So a fan is actually whirling, you can actually hear that. Also, a red light will appear on the back. Uh, if this hasn't happened, just make sure to check the connections and uh, everything's properly plugged in, it should be working properly. Um, so at this point, you want to actually connect your CCD to your computer. Uh, I go through this in the imaging, the computer imaging video that should be after this one, so make sure you look at that. Uh, so you want to cool down your camera as shown in that video. So after your CCD is connected, we want to actually point the telescope at something. You need to have a guide star in mind that you can align the telescope in so the telescope knows where it is in the sky. So to do that, you take your hand paddle. So you can move the telescope north, south, east, and west on slew speed to get to a telescope in the direction of your guide star. Once you're, in, once you're in the right direction, you want to look through this finder telescope here in order to align that guide star with your telescope. So if it's in the crosshairs of this finder scope, you want to look through the 40 centimeter telescope through the eyepiece over here and make sure that it's in the center of the eyepiece. Um, once you have connected it to your, to your computer, you'll see that there's, uh, and you put it on focus mode, you'll see that the, the star is in the center of your CCD. You wanna, if it isn't in the center, you want to move it around until it's there. Don't be worried if you see something that doesn't look like a star. It may look like a donut. And all that means is that the telescope is out of focus. So the next step we want to do is actually ensure that the telescope is in the proper focus. So in order to focus the telescope, you'll twist this knob here which will allow you to see how much the focus has changed on the CCD. If it's very much in the focus, you can use a special device called a quick focus, and that's over here. So here is a quick focus. What this does is allows the light from the star to pass through these whole three holes, and if the, te if the telescope's very much out of focus, this will cause three distinct images on your CCD, which you'll see on the computer. So we'll put that on our telescope, like so. Around here. And you'll begin to focus the telescope using this knob until the, the, the star has coalesced into one single star. So once it's done, you know that the telescope is very much in focus and you can remove the quick focus. All right. So now you have the telescope nice and focused. You want to actually align the telescope to that star. So for this, you again pick up your hand paddle. You want to enter the star number of your star that you've picked. This is going to be a bright star, so one or two magnitude at most. Um, so it should have a star number in the catalog that's provided over here, and I believe it should be in your manual. So I pick Sirius, which is star 67. On the hand paddle, I'll, be pick, I'll pick star, which is number six, and then the number, 67. I can press Enter in order to verify that that's the star. And then I want to press and hold enter until I hear a beep and the hand paddle will say coordinates matched on the star. So now the telescope knows where it is and you can start moving around the sky. But you want to be sure that your telescope is very properly aligned and very properly focused. And for this you need another star. So you should have picked a star that's somewhere in between the object that you're going to be looking at and your guide star. At this point, you can either slew to it directly with either by entering the, the right ascension declination into the hand paddle, or you can enter the star number if it has one, um, or you can slew just using the north, south, east, west buttons and your finder scope. Um, in order to enter the right ascension and declination, you'll press mode until the RA and deck of the current star is up. You'll press go to, you'll hear a beep, and there will be a cursor that appears under the right ascension. You can enter the respective right ascension of that close by star. You press enter again, uh, and then you can enter the star, uh, the, right, the declination of that star. 
Once that's done, you just press enter and then go to and the telescope will slew to that right ascension and declination. So after this is done and you've actually moved your telescope to your, your secondary star, you'll want to align it again. You'll see that it should be very much in focus, but you can try and adjust the focus so it's a very single image. You can use the quick focus again if you need to, but um, you can also just use your eye and make sure that it's at the best possible focus. After this is done, you'll again want to align the telescope. So for this, you again press star, enter the star number that you're on, and press and hold enter. So now that we're aligned on the second star, we have a more precise alignment, and this allows you to slew over to whatever object you're interested in. Um, in some cases, this will be a Messier object, and that, for that, you just press M, and you can enter your Messier object number. Uh, if it's another star or star cluster, um, you can press star and use whatever star number it is, and it will slew to that. There is also an NGC button, number three. You can hit and enter that, enter your number, um, and you're ready to slew over to that. In this case, instead of pressing and hold enter as you do by a line, you press enter once, and then you press go to, and the telescope will automatically slew over to the object in question. So after you've aligned your telescope and you're actually on your image, uh, sorry, you're on your object, you'll want to start taking images as I showed you in uh, the computer imaging video. Uh, so make sure you watch that video in order to find out how. Um, so after that, we'll have to move on to taking flats. So you may have noticed in some of your images that there are dark donuts. This is due to the, that there is dust in the line of sight of the optical tube of the telescope. We want to remove these, these dark donuts from our images in order to get a consistent amount of light across the entire image. So in order to do that, we want to set up a bright light on a, a part of the dome. So you use this floodlight, which you can turn on by the switch over here. Uh, you want to angle it so that it's at a nice clear spot on the dome, like so. After that, you want to actually slew the telescope and point it towards that bright area. So after you've slewed the telescope over that area, you want to start taking your flats as I showed you in the uh, computer imaging video. You want to ensure that the number of counts in your images are between 20 and 30,000. So after you've taken the appropriate number of flats, uh, you're actually done taking your images. So you want to put the telescope and the dome back to where you found it. So you have to slew the telescope back into its parked position. So now we have the telescope back into its parked position. You want to make sure that you put the covers back on the telescope, all the telescope covers that you have taken off. Uh, you want to put the cover back over the telescope, turn off the telescope, and turn off the CCD, ensuring to make sure that it warms up to the room temperature. Um, and after the telescope's all closed up, you'll close the dome, ensure that the shutter is in the right, uh, the shutter bars are in the right position in order to close it. And once everything's done, turn off the lights and you're ready to leave.